Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Oka Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, we'll be working here on a Chevy Cruze, guys. And if you have any of the following, guys, three codes, I'm talking about code P0410, P0411, or P0412, stay with us, guys, and we'll explain how to fix that today. Quick introduction, we will guys have more than 200 videos on this car and 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully guys you will find the information helpful. If you need any questions, if you have any questions, leave a comment below guys. Let us know, we'll try our best to make a video for your problem. Now if you need any tools, parts that we are going to use to fix that problem or if you need to buy parts for your car, Check out the link in the description of the video below and see where we get ours from. So I'm going to go ahead and start that car guys and I will, I will show you guys how uh, we have the engine light on. Okay, engine light stays on guys and we are going to use that scanner right here to scan the system. Okay, this is very good scanner, it works on anything, not just Chevy Cruze, amazing too guys. And uh, you can actually read and delete codes from the engine computer, from the airbag computer, traction control. You can do a few more things I'm going to show you in just a second. So if you're on the market for one, check out the link in the description of the video below, guys. It can pay itself off in one-time use. Connect it to your OBD connector right there. And <coughs> now our engine light is on. I'll turn the ignition on. I will not start the car, guys. Okay, the scanner is on. So okay let me explain what you can do with that stuff okay it's amazing you can guys as i said clear and read codes from engine computer abs traction control airbag you can register batteries you can do injector calibration steering angle sensor calibration and team pms reset and even more guys amazing too so we'll select the engine engine computer now and it's loading now it will take just a little bit of time okay and the code just popped i reset it but it popped again and it happens only when the engine is cold guys i forgot to mention you get these codes only when the engine is cold why because these code guys they relate to the secondary air injection pump this is the pump that pumps air in the catalytic converter so it can warm up faster guys and you can reduce your emissions now it does that only the first i think like a minute or two when the car is cold and then it turns off so if we click read codes, we're going to click uh, pending codes. I always check my pending codes because uh, even if it's not in the hard memory of the computer, it will be still in the pending codes and you can check it there. The code that we have P0411, secondary air injection system, incorrect flow guys detected. So we have a problem, okay, with the pump guys. Now, what do we need to do? I'm going to go ahead, turn the, okay, turn the ignition off. I will go outside and I'll show you guys, okay, how we are going to fix that and what needs to be done to take care of that problem now. So, this is guys a 1.8 engine. If you have 1.4 or diesel engine, procedure will be very close as well, guys. You have guys a secondary air pump. You can see this is your air filter box. Next to the air filter box, there is one big hose that goes to this device. This is your secondary air pump. Your radiator fan is closed, so I'll recommend when you work on that, disconnect your car battery so that fan doesn't turn on accidentally and cut your fingers or hands off. You can see if you follow that hose, it goes to the secondary air injection valve right here that opens and closes and it puts that air in the cylinder head and there is a special port that takes it to the exhaust exhaust valves so now guys that pump is what is causing our problem the pump is not functioning so if you want to see how to replace it from start to finish everything guys check out the video on our channel we have the video if you need to buy one we'll have the link in the description of the video below check it out now we'll go ahead guys replace ours we don't want to waste your time just seeing us how to replace it again if you want to see how to do it we have the video the purpose of today's video is to see if that is going to fix uh, if that is going to actually fix our problem so let's go ahead and replace it now so we replaced our pump i'm going on the inside now okay what i'm going to do guys i'm going to go ahead and reset the code okay so that code will be gone now but in order to reset it guys okay what you will have to do you have to go ahead and turn ignition on ignition is on you can see like that now if i click back and i go back and i click erase code 
the code will be gone. Now if I scan the system, I'm going to start the car shortly. No engine light on. Usually the pump should have been on by now. Even if you want to wait a couple minutes, just to be sure and go to read codes, pending codes, no codes found. So that new pump guys fixed our problem. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you having that problem. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to your channel for more videos and see you guys next time.